According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Who knows where? Doing who knows what? You can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Oh my God, that's more pollen than you and I've ever seen all this time. It's just a sad symbol. I think bees make too big a deal out of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. <laughs> oh, the ladies? Oh, are they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of high parries. Let's have some fun with them. It must be so dangerous being a pollen jock. Oh yeah. One time a bear had me pinned up against a mushroom. He had one paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me back and forth across the. Oh my! I never thought I'd knock him out. And what were you doing during all of this? Obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I got arrested. No, Gusty out there today. Wasn't it, comrades? Yeah. Gusty. We're gonna hit a sunflower patch about six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Hey, it's a bottle jump for us, but uh, maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. I'm going 0900 at Jay Gate. Whoa. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you big enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey. No, Dad, you surprised me. <laughs> Have you decided what you're interested in, son? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. <laughs> Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. And you're thinking, you know what, making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Well, no. no. Your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Oh, Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait, do you see the sticks I have for you? I can say anything I want right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some fresh honey and celebrate. Hey, yo, here's my thought. Ah, honey. Shake my antenna. So Check up the grasshopper. Get a gold tooth. Start calling everybody dogs. So proud. <laughs> 
I can't believe we're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Column counting, stunt bee, boarding, stir, front desk, air removal, it's still available. Hang on, two left and one of the yours. Congratulations, son, step to the side, please. Yeah, what'd you get? Picking the crud up? Whoa. A stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day, we are ready. Well, step up and make your choice. You want to go first? Uh, no, you go. All right. What's available? Oh. Restroom attendant's always open. Another room, you think? Any chance of getting onto the curlman, sir? Sure, you're on. Oh, I'm sorry, the curlman just closed out. Oh, wax monkey's always open. And the curlman just opened up again. Well, what happens? Well, whenever he dies, that's an opening. See that? He's dead, dead. Another dead one. Dead, he dead, Two more dead. Dead from the makeup, dead from the neck down. Ah, that's life. Oh, why was it so hard? Heating, cooling, stumpy, porter, stirrer, humble, inspector number seven, link, coordinator, strict, supervisor, two, four, polish, mic, mic, Barry, Barry, what do you think I should? Barry? Barry! All right, we've got the sunflower patch at the bottom of the line. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, no. We have to. Before you go to work for the rest of my life. You're going to die. You're crazy. Hello? Oh, the call coming in. If anyone's feeling brain, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey, guys. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? The public sun flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Luke. We're going to take love. Yeah. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sit here, sit here. I'll just answer that. Thank you. Okay, I got a rain advice for today. As you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Just babbling like a cicada. That awful. And a reminder for all you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no fucking to humans. All right, lunch position. Buzz, 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 bu
Hey, what you put on your resume brochure? That's not funny. No face could pop up. Hmm. Make it one of your special skills. You're knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, that's the next week. You're everyone. Oh, yeah, sure. And you know, whatever. You can put your chips on there. Bye. Must be low calories or something. <sighs> I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here goes. What do you say? I could really get in trouble. It's a big law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. Keep me from doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, it's not good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Um, bye. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Yes, I know. I know. I'm You're so talking. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But it's okay. It's fine. Just, I know I'm dreaming, but I don't want to call to bed. Well, you know, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean... You're a bee. Yeah, yeah. I am a bee, and uh, you know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but oh. they were all trying to kill me. Uh -huh. and if it wasn't for you, oh. I mean, I had to thank you. It's just the way I was raised. Oh. oh, that was a little weird. I'm talking to a bee. Yeah. I'm talking to a bee. Anyway. And the bee is talking to me. Um, I just want you to know that I'm grateful. I'm really bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How did you want to do that? What? The, 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 the talking thing. Oh, same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, these are funny. Huh. We didn't laugh, we cried, but what we have to deal with. <laughs> anyway. Can I, uh, get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Well, uh, I don't want to put you out unless you're oh, talking anyway. Oh, it takes two minutes. I really just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want a little cupcake? I really Have a little cupcake. No, 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 I can't. Oh, come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms here. Where? Well, these stripes don't help. You look good. I don't care anything about fashion. <laughs> Are you on me? No. Making the tie in the cab as they're flying up this. So we finally get there. Uh -huh. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. Yeah. And he says, watermelon? I thought you said watermelon. Uh -huh. Why would I marry a watermelon? <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that a, a bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we do. Yeah, different. So anyway, what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I, I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. My new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Oh. Huh. Anyway, uh, you see, if you look, see, there's my hive right there. You can see. Oh, you're in sheep meadow. Yes, you know the turtle. Oh, yes. Right off of that. Oh, no way. I know that area. Do you want to put a toe ring there? Really? Yes. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Oh, my God. I don't think I'll put a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You want a red ring? Uh oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'll be up the rest of my life. Okay. I, um, um, can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crop. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, then, uh, I guess I'll see you around. Or not, or... Okay, Barry. And uh, thank you so much again hey. for before. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, that was nothing. Well, no, nothing, but, but anyway. It wasn't good. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. Humans. I can't believe you humans. Giant scary humans. How do they look? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive around real crazy. And did they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them. Some of them don't. How did you get back? Cool. Look, you did it and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see out there. You had your experience. And now you're back. You can pick up your job and everything can be normal. Well, well, well. Well, I met someone. You met someone? Was she British? Mm -hmm. I lost. Your parents will kill you. Oh, no, no, no. Lost a spider? You don't like to spiders? I know everyone else like the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by the face. Yeah. So, uh, who is she? She's, uh, you, oh, no, 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 that didn't happen. You didn't do that. That's a B-law. You wouldn't break a B-law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, oh, boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no, 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 no. You're dating a human florist. Well, we're not dating. You're flying outside the hive. You're talking to human beings that attack our homes with power washers and M-80s. That's one of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life. And she understands me. This is over. Keep this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. That was so stinging. And strike me. And that's not even what they eat. That just falls off what they eat. Do you know what a cinnamon is? No. It's bread. Okay. And cinnamon. Okay. And frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really? Uh, listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us. And there's them. Yes, who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking, B. Barry, how much longer is this going to go on? It's been three days. I don't understand why you're not working. Well, I've got a lot of big life decisions I'm thinking about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Ugh. Did it kill you to just make a little bit? Barry, come after him under there. Your father's talking to you. Why would you talk to him? Oh, honey, honey, you are my candy girl, and you got me to do. Honey, honey, you are my candy girl, and you got me to do. Coming, honey, honey, you are my candy girl, and you got me to do. All set. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Don't be too long. I just keep believing the world will make us feel. I just keep believing the world will make us feel. Watch this. Oh, sugar, honey, honey, you are my candy girl. We are still here, Barry. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond when you yell at him. Then why are you yelling at me? Because you don't listen. Nah, I'm not listening to this. Sorry, Mom, I gotta go. Where are you going? Nowhere. I mean the friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's beige. So I have a huge parade of just flowers every year in Pasadena? Oh, to be in a tournament of roses, that's every florist's dream. Upon a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. Wow, a tournament. Do the roses actually compete in athletic events? No. All right, I've got one. How come you don't
don't fly everywhere. It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? Isn't that faster? Okay, see, see. Ah, your turn. Uh, TiVo, you can just freeze live TV. That's insane. Wait, you don't have anything like that? We have high volume, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh, why? Oh, dumbies. You must just want to steam all those jokes. We really try not to stick. It's usually fatal for us. So you really have to watch your temper. Oh, yeah, very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. You work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? He's a boat. Well, he's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? Pick a save circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? Uh, I think about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. Oh, you really got that down to a science? Oh, we have to. I lost a cousin to a tiny phone. Oh, bash. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Cute B. Golden Blossom. Ray Liotta Private Select. Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people. We eat it. Why? You don't have enough food of your own? Oh, no, yes. You didn't get it. Well, these make it. I know. Who makes it? And it's hard to make it. There's heating and cooling and stirring. You need a whole crown of thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Please don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, our schools, our hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're a busted box boy. <laughs> I knew I heard something, so you can talk. Oh, I can talk. And now you're going to talk. Oh, he got no taste up. Who's your supplier? I don't know what you're talking about. I thought we were all friends. The last thing you want to do, he's upset and you're too Jeez! Ah, you're too late. She's out now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, have a three-lots. Why, what up? He you. Where's the honey farm from? Ah, tell me where. Uh, honey farms. He comes from honey farms. Oh, 
I'm Bob Humble. And I'm Jeanette Chung. Our top story, a tri-county bee, Barry Benson, is saying he intends to sue the human race for stealing our money, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Don't forget, tomorrow night on New Barry King, we're going to have three former queens all right here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm just a kid from the hive, I can't do this? Larry, these have never been afraid to change the world. I mean, what about B. Columbus? B. Gandhi? Good Jesus. Well, where I'm from, you wouldn't think of suing humans. We were thinking more like stickball or candy stores. How old are you? Well, I want you to know that the entire bee community is supporting you in this case, which is certain to be the trial of the bee century. Thank you, Larry. You don't have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week on B. Larry King. You know, I mean, he looks like you, and he has a show with suspenders and different colored dots behind him. Next week on B. Larry King. No, glasses, and there's quotes along the bottom from the guest you watching, even though you just heard him. Barely next week. They're scary. They're hairy, and they're here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. Well, in tennis, you attack a point of weakness. But it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. <laughs> well, your backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Point, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Well, hello. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you, Timberland. Size 10 and a half. Vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Oh, you poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and that appears been a huge help. <laughs> How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use competition. <laughs> so why are you helping me anyway? Bees have good qualities. See, Jasmine. It feels good to take my mind off the shop. I don't know why, but instead of flowers, people give them balloon bouquets now. Yeah, those are great. If you have three. And artificial flowers. Oh, no, just get me psychotic! Yeah, me too. But then stingers, the pointless pollination. Oh, bees must hate those fake plastic things. There's nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Well, maybe this can make up for it a little bit. You know, Barry, this lawsuit's a pretty big deal. I guess. Are you sure that you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, honey, I'm home, without paying a royalty. There are actually four procedures in downtown Manhattan, but all eyes and ears in the world are interested in waiting because for the first time in history, we're going to hear for ourselves if a honeybee could actually speak. What have they gotten into here, Barry? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't have to be at work during the day. Hey, you think these billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? What's the matter? I don't know, I just got chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, hey, you boys work on this. <laughs> All rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4475. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Vinson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five major food companies collectively. A privilege. Uh, Mr. Vinson, you're representing all bees of the world? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. And Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we would live in the topsy turvy world, Mr. Benson had to just think of what it would be. Maybe I would have to negotiate with a silkworm for the elastic in my riches. Talking bee. How do we know? This isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry. They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, or cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Oh. Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. And as a bee, honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And what I'm hoping is that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Oh, I wish you would dress up all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms. Pretty big company you have there. I suppose so. And I see you also own Honeybird. And Hun Hun! Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term, I have to say. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. No. No. Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. And not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. Well, they're very lovable creatures. Uh, Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, oh, Build a Bear. Yeah, you mean like this. There's still bees! How would you like this big hairy head crisp in your living room? Like in your couch. But now you broke pillows. Rawr, rawr. Okay, that's enough. Take them away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me, I have to say. Never heard it before. I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer of any kind, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture being casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prince about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? Oh. Now he's been lame. You can't oh. Mr. Leona, first may I offer my belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I also see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome, but with a churning inner turmoil that's always ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what's come to for you, Mr. Leona, exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your life? Sir. Watch it, Benson. I can blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. <laughs> well, I just think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I'm telling you, I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right, you know, legally? I'm a force. Right, right. Well, you're still a great team. You're a great team. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Oh, Ken. Hello. Uh, I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I uh, tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go away, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Yeah. Oh, that was lucky. Well, there's still a little left. I can heat it up. Yeah, heat it up, sure. Whatever. So, I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much of a game myself. I find the ball a little grabby. That's what I usually said. Right. There. Mm. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, oh. and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? Hey, look, I know how hard it is trying to find the right job. We certainly have that in common. Do we? Well, bees have 100% employment, of course, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I love Barry borrowed your razor for his buds. I hope that was all right. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. You know, you know, I'm just a 
out at it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian vote. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life any more valuable than mine? That's funny, I just can't seem to recall that. Ah! I think something's sticks in here. I love the smell of flowers. Yeah? How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Ah! Yeah. Ah! 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 Oh! 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 Well, well, well. A royal flush. Yeah, nothing. Am I? What's up, dude? Oh, blue water. Oh. That is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Hey, what are you doing? You know what? I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? Why are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Oh. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man! I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste! I like it! I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you gonna be okay for the trial tomorrow? Oh, I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Now that's a good idea. You can only see why he's considered one of the very best... Uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, wait, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's gonna be all over. Don't worry, Mr. Gable. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson i I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? <gasps> We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait, wait a minute. This is Are you a little bit of a... Bed bug? I see the bee doctor be friends with them. What I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children in the house? Yeah, but... Oh, those aren't even your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Holy God. You are an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. And don't yell at your cousins. Objection. I'm gonna pink cushion this guy. <laughs> Man, don't. What do you want? Oh, oh, no. 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 Oh, it doesn't matter. The important thing is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria. They got it from downstairs. Got a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then, and then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I threw us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What do you think the humans will do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in hotels. That doesn't sound so bad. And they check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. <laughs> Say, could you uh, get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. <laughs> right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. Adam, that's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over. No, get up. Get dressed. I gotta go somewhere. You get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done stepped on me correctly, you're ready for the tub. <laughs> Mr. Flavin. Yes. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Uh, well, well, Your Honor, it's, it's interesting. You know, bees are trained to fly kind of haphazardly, and as a result, we're often the only for a good time. I actually, once heard a pretty funny story about it. Your Honor, how about these ridiculous bugs taking up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer are we going to allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who all run perfectly legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flamin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider this McGonagall's motion. But you can't. Give a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Oh, Your Honor, you want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What is this harmless little contraption? It couldn't hurt a fly on an old bee. <laughs> Members of the jury, look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or none. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to these smoke machines in man-made wooden slack work camps, living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What do I do? I play the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please, free these bees. Free the bees! Free the bees! Free the bees! The court finds in favor of the bees! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we won! Yeah, 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 you can do it! I'm not! Oh, I'm sorry! Okay, but that's what you know what this means? All the honey is finally gonna belong to the bees! Now we don't have to work so hard all the time! <gasps> this is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Vincent. You'll regret this. Hey, how much honey do you think it's up? Alright, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? Uh, my sweater's not worn and I have no pants. What if my gummy's right? What do you mean? We've been living in the bee way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What do you want to demand this assembly? First, we're gonna demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we wanna get back all the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear. As anything more than a filthy, smelly, big-headed, bad breath snake machine. Leave you all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take them out. Well, we'll for a few hours. It'll be fine. We will no longer tolerate derogatory bee negative nicknames. This is a threat about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products and la di da human tea time snack garnishments. Shut down! We never shut down! 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 Shut down
sir. What are you now? You wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on out there? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? No, they're just home. They don't know what to do. They're laying down, they're sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio cricket. At least we got our honey back. Yeah, but sometimes I think some of the humans liked our honey. Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be a part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. We have so much now. I thought their lives would be better. Mm. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. Huh? What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. Well, we'll Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? Hmm. You know how many just bees? Bees? Specifically me. I guess I didn't think that bees not needing to make honey would affect all these other things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. Well, that's a whole SAT test right there. So you take away the produce that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course... The human species? <clears throat> no. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south there, couldn't it? And I know this is also partly my fault. <sighs> I've had a suicide pact. How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. <sighs> Listen, Barry. I'm sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it up to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. Roses? Roses! Vanessa! Roses! Barry? Roses are flowers! Yes, they are! Flowers! Bees! Pollen! I know! That's why this is the last day! Maybe not! Could you ask him to slow down? Would you slow down? I made a huge mistake, this is a total disaster, and it's all my fault. Yeah, is it kind of is? I ruined the planet, and I wanted to help you with your flower shop. Instead, I made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. Oh, I thought maybe you were remodeling. Nonetheless, I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous great ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Oh. All right, here's what I'm thinking. They have the roses, the roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees? Park? Pollen? Flower? Free pollination? Oh, cross pollination! All right, turn of roses. Has to be in California. They got nothing but flowers, roses, and Security? I have an idea. Vanessa Blue, FTD. Special floral business. Oh, it's real. Sorry, ma'am. That's nice Thank you. Thank you. Then once we're inside, we just pick the right flow. Oh, How about the princess and the pea? Yeah. I can be the princess and you yes, could be the pea. I got it. Sorry, Lee, what should I say? Wait, you! I believe I'm the pea? The pea? It's supposed to be under the mattresses. Not this very test, sweetheart. I'll do that, Dr. Marshall. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. <laughs> Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is land in the traffic. Without a penalty. And once we're at the airport, there's no stop us. Stop, security. Do you need an insect back your float? Yes. Has the float been in your possession the entire time? Yes. Would you remove your shoes and everything in your pockets? Can you remove your stinger, sir? Um, that's part of me? I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work, Vanessa. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. I'm afraid we have a bit of bad weather in the New York area. It looks like we're going to be experiencing a couple of hours delay. Barry, these are couple hours with no water. They'll never make it. i got to get up there and talk to these guys. Be careful. Hey, can I get help with this highball magazine? I'd like to learn to talk to you and play with trimmer. Excuse me, Captain. I'm in a real situation here. What did you say, Hal? I didn't say anything. Ah, me! Oh, no, no, don't freak out. There's chance. My entire space ah! <laughs> Experience. As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh, great. But this, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. Got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Is it Josh Waldo pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait a minute, Barry, we're heading into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport, where a very suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh off his stunning little victory, Barry is now attempting to land a plane, loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? So we have an electrical storm in the area, two individuals at the controls of a jumbo jet with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, Mr. Dismart. There's a honeybee on that plane. Oh, I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson's work and his no account compadres. Have they done enough damage already? Isn't your only hope right now? Come on, technically, bees shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too small, the bodies are too big. Hold on a second. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and the body mass doesn't make sense. Get us up here. You got it. Yeah, but we're going right. Yeah, the way we work may be a mystery to you, because making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you something about a small job. If you do it really well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize. To us, to everyone. That's why we're bees back to do what we do best. Working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind the fellow. Why do yellow? Left, right, down, hover. Hover. We get hover. You know what? This is hard. Beep, beep, beep. What happened? Wait a minute, I think we're on 
autopilot that whole time. But maybe helping me. No, we're not. It turns out we cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind us now. Move it out! Chance if I do what I would do, and you copy me with the wings of the plane. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We happen to be in a lot of trouble here. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking! I don't think I can do this. That's a place something. Listen to me. You have got to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. How's the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Hey, Benson, have you got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? Hello, Chugs. They do get behind a fellow. Let me know. Hello. Where are you? Go, will you serve me this tin on the black top? Oh, black top, where? I can't see anything, can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You gotta think B-Berry. Thinking B, 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 thinking B,